folks, welcome back to my channel and I recently purchased a Treasure Room hardware wallet and thought of sharing with you all the unboxing and the setup that is required the first time you purchase this device. But before starting, let's first discuss what a hardware wallet is. Now, hardware wallet lets you manage your private keys securely offline. Now, often there is a misconception that wallets are used to store your cryptocurrencies, which is in fact not true. Now, in case of Bitcoin, all coins are already present on blockchain in the form of transaction output. Now, when I say something like my wallet has received a bitcoin all this means is that my wallet detected a transaction output that can be spent using the keys controlled by my wallet okay when you typically want to transfer these cryptocurrencies you sign transaction using your private key thereby proving the ownership of these cryptocurrencies now in this whole process your private keys are never ever shared now you might have a question hmm, if private keys are never ever shared how can other people verify that I am indeed the owner of this cryptocurrency? Now this is the beauty of cryptography and I am not going to go into detail in this video as to how transaction works, how they are verified, how wallets work. Let me know in the comment if you want me to create a video on these topics. Now in nutshell all you want to take away with this is always safeguard your private key, never ever share it with anyone. And in the case of treasure on hardware wallet, as we are going to see when we set up the wallet, we get a recovery seat never ever share that recovery seed with anybody because with that recovery seed private keys can be generated now there is one more misconception along this hardware wallets is that if you lose this hardware wallets you are going to lose all your cryptocurrencies now this is again in fact not true when you set up this device you do two things one is you set up a pin and second is you get a recovery seed if someone stole this device from you they cannot steal your funds because they don't know the pin set by you and the second thing is that now if you lose this device you can regenerate your keys using the recovery seed and transfer it to another hardware wallet okay now let's come back and discuss what we are going to do in this video first we are going to unbox this treasure one hardware wallet and see what all comes along with the device and after that we'll also see how to set it up the first time we see this device and then we are going to send and receive some bitcoin Thereafter, I'll also show you how much cost did I had to incur to buy this device. I bought it directly from treasure.io website and it is also recommended that you buy these devices directly from the manufacturer. Don't buy it from eBay and Amazon because you don't know whether you are getting the authentic device or this device is already tempered and someone has already noted down the recovery seat earlier. Okay. So I'm residing in India and I had to pay some import fee to get this device. So now I'll tell you exactly the total cost that I had to pay including the device charges, the shipping fee and the import fee. Those of you who are not residing in India can skip that part. And also I'll give you the timestamp into the description so you can go to the section that you want to watch. And let's start the video. Okay, let's unbox the Treasure One hardware wallet. Let me remove the cover. Now be sure to check this holographic seals. It is very important that these seals are not tempered in any way. If they are, then do not use this hardware wallet and contact the treasure support. Now let me open the box. Okay, so this is all we have got. Treasure stickers. A USB cable. A keychain. And finally, this is our Treasure One hardware wallet. Let me remove the protective cover. we have some more things left into the box let's see okay so we have some more treasure stickers and getting started small starting manual and two papers to note down the recovery seat phrase now I have plugged in my treasure device and as you can see it is saying welcome Please visit treasure.io slash start. Now go open up your browser and go to treasure.io slash start. Now it is asking us to for us to select our device. So I'm going to select treasure one. Now this is very very important. You must ensure that the holographic seal is not tempered within any way on the box that you had received. As there is a risk that the funds owned by this wallet keys might get compromised. 
सो बी वेरी केयरफुल एंड चेक इट थरोली सो वी ऑलरेडी डेट चेक अर्लियर एंड इट वॉज नॉट टेम्पर्ड इन एनी वे सो आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू टू वेल इट Now, first time you want to click on Treasure Bridge. Uh, let's install it. Uh, I am on Mac operating system, so I'm just gonna install it for that. Select the one that you want. Let's install it. Continue. Okay. Continue install. okay so it's installed now and let's refresh the page okay i'm not sure if i want to allow it just click install from where no it is installing the firmware Now you can see on the screen new firmware successfully installed you may unplug your treasure so i unplugged it and again reconnect asking us to create an wallet so i'm going to click on create wallet your treasure is not backed up let's create a backup in few minutes now these are the instructions that are given to you that do not take a photo of your recovery seed so now in the next step you are going to be getting a recovery seed you must never ever share this recovery seed with anybody do not store it on your computer or anywhere online that in any situation that get hacked so it's a best idea to keep that somewhere safe offline okay so i say i understand and i agree i click continue now on my treasure device i will be able to see a list of around 24 words that will be my recovery seed this will be a sequence of 24 words that i have to write down on a pen and paper now you can see write down the seed first word is render so i am writing down the seed on the recovery sheet page provided by treasure now i am pressing the right button to go to the next word Now you can see the twenty fourth word shoot. Now I'm done writing all the twenty four words. I'm clicking on next. Now it is showing me the first word again, render. So now I have to review all the twenty four words. Now we have written down all the twenty four words. So we have successfully backed up our device. Let's continue. Now it's gonna ask us to enter a pin. So before that, you have to confirm it into the device that you do. You really want to set up a pin. Now I confirmed it onto my device. Now it's gonna ask me to set up pin, and it is also going to show you onto the device the number. So they correspond over here. So I am going to enter a pin now. Okay, now it is asking me to re-enter the pin. Now the digits on the device have changed a bit. Okay, now our pin is set. Now let's name the device. So Now I have to give the pin that I set just just now. So again the numbers will be displayed on to my treasure wallet screen. Now I have to click on confirm on to my treasure wallet. Do you really want to change name to treasure neha confirm? Okay. Let's continue. Protect yourself against phishing attacks and it's telling us to bookmark this. So we'll do that. let's go next okay done okay so they are asking us for the newsletter which i would be skipping this step as of now follow us and stay updated continue 
so that is it we are done setting up our treasure let me now show you how to receive and send bitcoin on the treasure wallet so you can also select a lot of cryptocurrencies that you would want to receive and send so i am going with btc now first we will receive some btc so that we are able to send so i'll click on show full address now it is going to say that check this address so on your treasure device also you will be shown the same address and you basically have to click on continue on your treasure device after double checking that this address is the similar one that is showed in your treasure device so i am going to click continue now now you will see a barcode you can scan this one so i am going to scan it with my another wallet where I have BTC okay I have placed a withdrawal request onto my another wallet okay so we can see that this is still unconfirmed but i have received this many ptc 0.003 approximately and this is still not confirmed so it will take some time for it to be confirmed on the blockchain i'm going to show you how to send the ptc so for that you will need the address of the wallet where you want to send it so i have already pasted it on the clipboard now i'm going to send 0.003 and it is approximately 107 us dollars as you can see here and i'm going to keep the fees as very low because i'm in no hurry to send the btc now let me click on send you must be careful while selecting this address this must be absolutely correct you should always double check it else this funds are going to be lost if you're not careful i have double checked it now i'm going to confirm it okay i have to basically type my pin in again similarly you will see the corresponding numbers onto your treasure device so i'm going to click on the pin confirm transaction output on your device so on your device again you have to click on confirm to send it to this address now it has been sent to my wallet as you can see now it might take some time for me to receive the funds on my wallet as i selected a low network fee that's it for sending and receiving btc So I had to pay 48.76 euros for the device, 21 euros shipping price, which came out to be total of 69.76 euros, which at that time in the currency conversion came out to be about 6079.03 rupees. I had to pay an import duty of 2602 rupees and a total GST of 649 rupees which came out to be about 3,251 INR and the total cost was including the device fee, shipping fee and the import fee 9,330 rupees approximately. Now if you have been watching till now, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to get all my notifications. Also follow me on social media handles like Instagram and Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.